Ever since the game's release in early 2009, mods have been an important part of Minecraft's community. While some mods do little more than optimize your game's rendering, others will completely change the way that the game looks and feels to a point that is sometimes unrecognizable. Mods are used in basically every Minecraft community there is, and that of course includes Hypixel Skyblock. Client-side modifications are very commonly used in Hypixel Skyblock by a lot of the player base. However, somewhat recently, there was a forum post made by the admins that announced that they would be changing the way that they dealt with these client-side modifications. When this announcement was first made, a lot of people thought that it meant that they were banning all client-side modifications, however, it later turned out to be entirely not true, they still like and encourage people using mods on their game mode, however they are just changing the way that some certain things are dealt with. So as a thank you for 2000 subscribers, and to help you better understand what mods are and aren't allowed, today I'm going to be going through my personal mod folder and talking about what each mod does and how to configure it if you want to use it yourself. I will be breaking down this video into a couple of different sections. The first will be mods that I would call essential and just really you should use if you are ever using a modded client. The second is mods that are specifically useful to Hypixel Skyblock. The third is going to be things that are just generally useful in PvP or in Hypixel as a whole. And the last will focus on chat triggers and different chat triggers modules that I think you should use. Of course, as always, if you do want to jump ahead, there are timestamps in the description below. Before we get too far into the video, I do want to remind you that if you enjoy my videos and you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. They really do help me out, and I am getting surprisingly close to 4,000 subscribers at the time of recording, and so if I could get there, that would really, really mean a lot. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So this first section of mods is what I would call the necessary mods. I would use these mods in basically every single mod folder, even if it's not PvP or Hypixel or anything like that, all of these mods are just super, super useful. The first one I think is probably the most useful mod on this entire list, and that is called Optifine. If you don't have Optifine, what are you doing? Optifine is probably the most necessary mod on this entire list, especially if you have a bad computer, because it optimizes your Minecraft. It optimizes everything in your visual rendering, and it gives you tons of settings that you can play with. All of them are found in video settings, and it allows you to change so, so much more inside of basically everything. It also allows for things like connected textures and for shaders, which are of course wonderful, and yeah, if you don't have Optifine, I really don't know what you're doing. Go get Optifine, it is amazing. While it's not quite as impressive as Optifine, this next mod I would say is just as valuable, and that is called Patcher. Patcher does the same thing, except instead of just fixing visual changes, it does a ton of bug fixes and patches for the game. The way that you open the patcher menu is by doing slash patcher, and I think there are way, way too many settings for me to go over in this video, but if you want to find a certain setting, there's a search bar in the top right. This t gives you tons of control over tons of different things in your game, and it really does let you just do so, so much more. For a long time, I didn't know what Patcher was, and boy am I glad that I have it. The third of these, what I would say necessary mods, is called Memory Fix, and really, I don't entirely know what this mod does. All I know is that it fixes a lot of the memory issues that Minecraft has just built into its game, and I strongly recommend you get it. Personally, you're never going to really notice that it's there, but you will often notice when it isn't there, because Memory Fix does very much help improve your gameplay experience, especially if you have a less than insane computer. The last of the mods on this category is not quite the same, it doesn't do anything like completely revamping the way that the game does its math, but I would still say that it is just as critical for anybody who really enjoys playing Minecraft. It is called Orange's Simple Mods, and you can set it up by doing slash simple config in game, and it does a ton of different things. It allows you to change your toggle sprint, and just basically everything. Armor status, different direction HUDs, your status, and then of course toggle sprint. I think toggle sprint is probably the most important part of this entire mod because I just 
would not imagine holding down control all the time or double tapping W, but it is really, really nice to have so then you're always sprinting. Simple orange mods, of course, a great mod to have. Now that we've gone over all of the what I would call entirely necessary mods to Minecraft, we can look at the mods that you probably care about, which are the ones that are useful for Hypixel Skyblock. Personally, I only use three different Skyblock mods, which are Skyblock add-ons, Skyblock extras, and the Cowlection or Moo mod. Although there are tons of different mods for different types of gameplay within Skyblock, these are the only three that I use because there isn't really anything else I need. Of course, there are plenty of things in the chat triggers section which we will cover next, however, I do want to go over each of these Skyblock mods in detail so then I can give you a little bit of a heads up of what you're getting. The first of these mods that pretty much everybody who actually plays Skyblock uses is Skyblock add-ons. If you use a client like Lunar or Badlion, you already know what this mod does, but I strongly recommend getting the Forge version because it is way, way more powerful than the ones that you'll get in clients. The way that you open up the SBA menu is by doing slash SBA, and that'll open up this menu right here. You can search for different features, and all of them are quite useful in different circumstances. I'm going to flick through them now to show you what I have turned on in case you want to copy exactly my settings. However, the things that a lot of people care about right now are the things that involve locking slots. At first, a lot of people thought that when they said that you're not allowed to block certain actions, that that meant that you're not allowed to lock slots. However, that is very much not true. It was confirmed later on that Skyblock add-ons is basically entirely allowed, and that is because it was actually developed by an admin at Hypixel. Also on that, I do want to make sure that a lot of you understand that all of these mods, as long as you are using the most updated version of from the actual source, will be entirely approved by admins. Most of these mods are made by people who are extremely competent at what they do, and they are going to make sure that it entirely follows the rules. If you are using an updated version of this mod, you really, really don't have to worry about getting banned or anything like that. All of that is being dealt with by the mod creators themselves. However, if somebody that you don't know or you don't really trust sends you a mod file, I recommend so strongly to not download that mod. Not only could that be a bad version of the mod, so that means it could be breaking some of these rules, it also has a very good chance of being ratted, which means that it could steal things about your Minecraft login ID or things that you really don't want stolen. Please never download mods or really anybody from people you don't trust. The next mod on the Skyblock mods list is Skyblock Extras, and that I would say is the most powerful Skyblock mod that you can have. To open up the SBE menu, once again you do slash SBE, and it comes up with a ton of different tabs, and I really, once again, could not go through all of it in this short amount of time, however there are tons of different settings and there is a search bar, it will do tons and tons of things for you, I'm not really gonna scroll through it like I did for SBA, just because there are so many different things that you can play around with. If you want to get this mod, you do have to pay a little bit of money, however if you actually plan on playing this game for any reasonable amount of time, it is probably one of the most worthwhile investments you could ever make. The third mod on this list is the Cowlection mod, and it has some pretty specific use cases, however I think that it is an absolutely wonderful mod made over by the people at Cowshed. To open up the configurations for this, do slash moo config, and it brings up this wonderful menu. If you want, I will flip through all of my settings so you can copy them down. It does a bunch of nice stuff like showing you different information about items, and giving you a ton of control over your dungeon party settings. I don't use a ton of these, however it has a ton of useful things for basically everything in Skyblock. It also does have some nice features for other things outside of Skyblock in the rest of Hypixel, however I'm not really going to go over these, but they are very very useful. If you want to see a big help menu, you can do slash moo help, and that'll throw up a bunch of commands that you can use and play around with. The last two of these Skyblock related mods, like I said, aren't entirely Skyblock related, and this first one is the reason that my GUI scale is so huge. 
As you can see right now with my GUI scale, if I were to have it like this, I could not see the name of this item. But this mod called Scrollable Tooltips allows you to get this, scroll your tooltips. It's a very nice mod and it's especially nice in Hypixel Skyblock where there are some items with very, very long lores describing item abilities and different things like that. So I recommend that you get this mod, especially if you play with a large GUI scale. Okay, phew, back to a regular GUI scale. The last mod in this section, once again, isn't entirely Skyblock related, and it has come up in the past that some people think this mod could be bannable, and arguably it is if you're using it for the wrong purposes, but for the purposes that I'm using it for, it is entirely allowed. That mod is called Macro Key Keybindings, and it is wonderful. It is what allows me to open up my pets menu by pressing the R key on my keyboard, and the way that you configure it is by going into your options and by clicking here. From there, you can create different macros, and as long as you're not using them to spam all chat or to spam your guild chat or whatever like that, you are 99.99% fine. There are plenty of other very large YouTubers that use this mod, such as Refraction, and so almost all the time, as long as you're using it for things that are mundane, such as opening your pets menu, you are pretty much guaranteed safe. The third section of mods that I'm going to be talking about are the just generally useful mods. I think that these are mods that are useful throughout all of Hypixel and throughout a lot of just PvP in general, so we're going to be looking over them, starting with the old animations mod. If you are like a lot of PvP players, you like some older animations versus the newer 1.8 animations. This is things such as block hitting or the way that you hold certain items, and so to set this up, the way that you do it is by going into here, clicking on old animation mod, and then you can change all of the different things. Once again, I will show you what settings I have on. Really, it's not super complicated, and it's all just cosmetic things, and it's up to you what you like and what you don't like. The next mod on this list is another purely cosmetic one, and it is the one that allows you to always see the sharpness particles whenever you attack a player. Of course, this is really just up to personal preference, but if you like playing PvP, these particles are very useful so then you know when you're actually hitting somebody. To show off the next mod in this category, I am on top of the community center so then you can see the sky around me. By typing slash TC, it opens up the time changer mod, which allows me to change the time. My texture pack is a little bit funky and it doesn't quite look right all the time, which is why that I have it always at night. And this mod is great if you care about the way that your sky or different things look, or if you want to get nice screenshots, which you might want to do by using the next mod on the list. While this next mod was actually originally made just to take screenshots, it now has a lot more uses outside of that, and that is the Perspective mod. To set up the Perspective mod, first you need to go into your controls, and then scroll down, and you are going to need to change a setting down here, which will allow you to have your Perspective keybind. Mine is set to V, and whenever I hold V down, it puts me into a perspective in which I can change the way I'm looking at my character. While this is super nice for taking cinematic screenshots, and I use it for thumbnails all the time, it's also very nice for things like UHC or Bridge, where it's nice to be able to look behind you without just going into F5. The last mod in this section has a kind of funky name, but I promise it's pretty nice. It is called the BDSM mod, also known as the Bridge Duel Stat Checker mod, and it is an absolutely wonderful mod. It allows you to check different players' stats by doing a slash stat check B, and then I can check my own stats, and you're probably going to make fun of them down in the comments section, but that allows you to check different stats for tons of different game modes, especially for Bridge. Although this mod was in fact made for Bridge, it has, like I said, tons of different applications and has ways to check your stats for Bridge and for all of the other duels and Bed Wars and Sky Wars, and I'm guessing probably others, but I don't really use those settings because really the only PvP game mode that I play is Bridge, and yet I still kind of suck at it. 
the last section of mods that I'm going to be looking at are actually not quite mods, they are called modules, and they are all modules of the bigger mod chat triggers, which of course you have to download before using any of these. The nice part about chat triggers is it allows you to actually change what mods you're using on the fly, and the way that you do this is by running the command slash ct import and then the name of the mod that you want to use. On screen, I'm going to be showing all of the different modules that I use and explaining what they do and how to set them up. Some of them will have applications just to Skyblock, and then some of them will have other very useful applications throughout the rest of Hypixel. If I do slash CT modules, then that will bring up the list of different modules that I have. A lot of these are not actually things that you have to import, but they are things that just come built into chat triggers, so I'm not going to explain them. But the ones that you really care about are going to be Anti-Double Death, which prevents you from double dying in Hypixel Skyblock, Better Easy, which allows you to say E and Z next to each other in Hypixel, Fishing Utilities, which allows you to open up a bunch of different settings, a lot of which are recreated in Skyblock Extras, but I think Fishing Utilities does a lot of them better. Ho Utilities, which does a similar thing, and it is mostly just for farming. And then, of course, there is Universal Bridge, which if you have a guild with a bridge bot, is super, super nice, and I could show you what that is. However, if you're in a guild that has a bridge bot, you probably already know what this is. The three modules that I'm pretty sure that I have that actually have things that you have to set up are going to be Fishing Utilities, which you set up by doing slash fish, Ho Utilities, which you set up by doing slash Ho Utilities. I'm going to see if I can spell it right first try. However, because I'm recording, it is probably not going to happen. I got it right second try. And then the last one is going to be Universal Bridge, which you open up by doing slash bridge. There is one last pretty important module, however, I do have to go into recording my full screen for this, and that is because that is the corn module. If I do slash ct import corn, it really does just in fact search corn in your web browser. I think this is probably the best module in the entirety of chat triggers, and it really does throw people off when you tell them to do this command. I do hope you enjoyed and I do hope that helps you out if you are kind of lost with Forge or if you don't quite know what mods that you should be using. And even if you are pretty experienced with mods, I do hope that this gives you suggestions about what mods you should be using and what mods you probably don't need. If you did enjoy, I really do hope that you like and subscribe and then join my Discord which is linked in the description below. Before I go, I really do want to make sure that you understand that all of these mods, if they are made by legitimate developers, are always, always going to be entirely secure as long as you're using the most up-to-date version. I also want to reiterate, never ever install mods from people that you don't really really trust super well, because even if you think you know somebody, there's a chance that they've sent you a bad mod, and are really just trying to steal your Minecraft account and information. That should just about wrap it up for this video. Like and subscribe. Adios.